Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonPhoto.com and what I'm going to be showing you today is a, a short little video uh, clip of some close-up photos from my Canon 350D or Rebel XT, my new Canon EOS 600D or 3Ti. Uh, the idea of this is to show you a comparison between the ISO performance of both cameras. Um, one of the things when you first buy a new camera um, maybe if you're upgrading for an old one, the, the, the kind of guilt, buyer's guilt you get afterwards is, you know, is it any better than the camera I had before? Because, you know, I used the 350D for many years and it took beautiful, beautiful photographs, especially, you know, if you're out in the sunshine. And obviously with the 600D, you're getting more megapixels, 18 megapixels, I think, versus 7. But, you know, the real question is, are the photos any better? And so what I did was I set the, both cameras up on, uh, well, I did them one at a time, set up the 350D first. Um, and then um, took a series of photos at all the ISOs on the camera. So with the 350D, it was ISO 100, 200, 400, 800, and 1600. And then did the same with the 600D um, and adding on uh, 3200 and 6400 at the end. Um, and then I, uh, and uh, doing it, I used uh, a ring LED ring light so the lighting was even. I made sure I used exactly the same lens on both cameras and did my best to make sure that they were focused properly. And I used uh, mirror lockup and uh, a remote shutter as well to make sure that everything, everything was equal, so everything would be in focus. And once I'd got the images, uh, I shot in JPEG because that's what I was shooting anyway. Then I went into Photoshop and made a hundred percent crops. Of the photos and so what you'll be seeing uh, in, a, in a second or two are cutouts if you like from these photos that are just showing you uh, I guess it's virtually the middle bit of the photo where you can see a little bit of a clock face and you'll see a slightly out of focus wall and the idea is that you can pick up the detail that's in the clock face and in the metalwork around the clock and then you can see the noise in the uh, in the wall detail and I don't know how well you'll be able to pick it up on the video. If you go to robnonphoto.com um, and uh, sort of find the, the, the section on the uh, the 600D versus 350D noise uh, test, you'll be able to see the original images as well and the crops, and you'll be able to look at them in at full resolution. But what is becomes apparently apparent straight away is that there's significantly less noise um, at every single ISO on the 600D compared to the 350D. Oh, ISO 100 and 200, it's not that noticeable, especially if you're not looking at 100%, you know, if you're looking at a reasonable uh, crop factor. Um, but as soon as you get to sort of ISO 18, 800 and 1600, there is a very, very big difference in noise. So if you are thinking about upgrading from a 350D, a Rebel XT to a 600D or a, t a T3i, then as far as noise goes, um, yeah, fantastic. It's, it's, it's appreciably better. And what you can also pick up from these um, little cutouts, if you like, these 100% crops from the originals, is the extra um, detail you get in terms of how much deeper you can crop into a photo with those extra megapixels. Okay, so that's enough from me. What you'll see next is, um, is those photos as they cycle through. We'll look at the 350D first, and then we'll look at the 600D. Um, and you'll be able to see the, the difference uh, difference in noise. As I say, you know, I'm very pleased that the 600D is a lot better than the 350D. My name's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com and I uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video.